wider, bigger concern, which is that Westminster has for years and decades been draped in secrecy, a culture of secrecy where people have felt they're unable to come forward with their concerns. Something I think fears, which I think will not have been allayed by an interview that uh, my colleague Neil Patterson did a little bit earlier on today with Sky News with the Health Minister, Philip Dunn. I was in the Whip's office, and when I was in the Whip's office, uh, it was very clear that anything in the Whip's office stays in the Whip's office. Uh, there are allegations are made about colleagues from across parties. All that there are allegations made about colleagues of all kinds of things, uh, uh, which come to the attention of the Whip. Some of them are true. Some of them are, are and may not be true. And where and they uh, should I be, they should be the arbiter of whether or not it's uh, true. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I mean, no, we, let, we, no, we, no, appear no. To, we appear to have let gone me, through me, the looking glass finish. here. There are no. allegations being made to the Whip's office that they sit on and they arbitrate upon. No. What I was going on to say is that if there are any allegations of inappropriate behaviour uh, or, or illegal behaviour, clearly they get acted upon.